We don't have to ask permission to save ourselves. God has given us all that we need to be able to move to the other side of trauma into transformation. And so I just would encourage the family to continue to speak life over each other, that we will live and not die, that this is not the end for us, but hopefully it's the beginning of reuniting humanity across the nation and around the globe under the banner of belovedness. I'm excited about what I see beyond trauma. And I'm excited about what we're declaring and creating together beyond this trauma. First of all, like, Flint is not over because, like, there there still needs to be, like, at least a billion more dollars invested in just Flint to replace the infrastructure. Because, like, if we could send billions of dollars on war... Yeah. And then we're not spending that level of stuff to invest in our people. Like, our priorities are, like, totally jacked up. What people don't realize is that Michigan is probably one of the, I would say, we are a global leader in our potential for energy storage here. Here in Michigan, we have the opportunities to be the global leader in decarbonizing. We're the, we are the future, and we're looking at the future. We're creating the future as we speak. So even this whole process, the, the way that I, that I had done stuff is even the way lots of folks are going to have to do things, you know, moving forward only because we have to create this new world and we don't know, you know, what this new world is or what this world's going to be, but it's going to be whatever we make it. So we have to be mindful and we have to keep our politicians mindful that you know, nature has a way of healing itself, but we have to give nature a chance by not allowing the people to follow up the, the rivers and the lakes. It does blow my mind that we ever got to be careless about water. And yet, you know, this present form of civilization seems almost oblivious to it. And so the work of water protectors and watershed activists is really revelatory and also uh, revolutionary in the in the best way you know harking harking back to some essential realities that we all share and suddenly i was given a fight that fight for our water woke me up to to myself again to the power that i have in in my own intuition in connection to community. And so what happened really, really shifted my life because it took me out off the cushion. It took me into the streets. It took me into the halls of justice. It took me out to Standing Rock. It took me back to Michigan. It took me across the country. It take, took me to the UN. I had no idea when I read those words, your water is in play, what was to come. One of the beautiful things about this movement is that everybody has a role to play. And we've seen it across the state. We've seen certain business leaders really step up and do everything they can to protect our water as business leaders. There's folks who are comfortable with making phone calls but maybe don't want to knock on doors. Great, make some phone calls. For folks who want to get involved in activism, um, I think, you know, first take, take whatever step is easiest to you. Get involved with a group and a cause that you care about and really go from there. There's no magic to getting involved. There's just doing it.